Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to pass data from a Lightning Aura component to a Visual Force page. In order to pass data from a Salesforce Lightning Aura component to a Visual Force page, then we need an application event using Lightning. Here I created a um, lightning event with the name, message value, type as string. So in order to pass the value from the lightning aura component, I will fire this event. In my visual force page, I will add event handler so that it will listen to this event and then it will get the message from the lightning aura component. In order to also in order to uh, embed a lightning aura component in a visual force page, we need a lightning app. So he created an app called Visual Force app. So the name of the app is Visual Force app, and the dependency of this app is Visual Force Aura component, which is my Lightning Aura component. Without this uh, dependency, we won't be able to embed our Lightning Aura component in the Visual Force page. So this is my Visual Force page using Lightning Use and Lightning Create component. I am displaying lightning aura component in my visual force page so the first step is i created an event next i created a visual force app and uh, i created a lightning aura component where i'm registering my visual force event and i have a init method and also i have an attribute called str mes message Whenever I type something in my lightning input, it will be stored in str message. I have a button uh, called send message. When this me send message button is clicked, I am calling pass data to VF. In the do init method, I am calling my helper uh, method send to message send message to VF. Same whenever this pass data to VF is also called, I am calling the send message to VF method in my helper. In my helper, in the send message to VF, VF, I'm getting what is the value that is stored in str message. The default value is initial value. And I have a console.log statement to show the value. And I'm using window.set uh, timeout. And then uh, um, I'm using uh, get callback and then uh, I'm firing the event with 100 milliseconds delay. I'm using this 100 milliseconds delay since when the page is loaded, th the value won't be fired. So if you have a requirement where on the page load also, you wanted to fire the event um, from Lightning Aura component to Visual Force page, then use this two lines of code. If your requirement is um, once the page is rendered and once the user enters and then if they click the button and if you want to send do not use these two lines of codes okay next I have my visual force page if there are any error messages it will display here I'm using include lightning and I'm using a, a, a div id is equal to aura component id this is where i'm going to embed my lightning aura component uh, i have output label message and i have output text with the class uh, name um, msg cls for css and uh, here i'm using lightning use and lightning create component to embed my visual force uh, uh, sorry uh, visual force aura component which is my lightning aura component in the inside this div container
next i am adding an uh, handler for event visual force event which will be fired from the lightning aura component uh, handler is retrieve event data method so this is my retrieve event data method uh, whenever there is an event which got fired it will get the message value because that's what i have declared as the name here and i am using a, a document dot get elements by class name uh, msg cls and then i'm adding the inner uh, html with that particular value whichever was passed from the lightning aura component so this is my vf page let's preview it so initially it was initial value so it got updated here you can also see the console statements so So now if I enter this as testing and then if I click uh, send a message then the message will be passed to, to this visual force page and then uh, through the JavaScript handler this value will be getting updated. Please check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get the sample code which we referenced in this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.